How you doing? My name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, and what I want to do is go over with you what is new in version 2.4 of Posture Screen Mobile. First and foremost, a lot of people have asked, can we go ahead and make a graphic for people to do a posture assessment in front of? And of course we can. So if you contact our, our company at sales at posturecode.com, we can go ahead and have our graphic artist go ahead and put your logo up here. And that way you can stand somebody in front of a background when you're doing your assessments. Now note, you don't need this at all. But if you're in a very busy uh, background where there's no wall, uh, sometimes it, it gets a little cluttered in the picture, so it's easier if we go ahead and have something like this. Now, let's go ahead and move on to what's new and exciting in version 2.4. You have the choice, it's a, a choice up to you, if you want to email with an encryption. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that. The patient is gonna get a password, okay? So you're gonna ask John Doe, what password do you want to have? So they're going to need that password in case it gets emailed to the wrong person, they can't open up that what document. What do is, let's go ahead and show you where that's at in the app. Okay, so I'm going to get a little closer so we can see this. All right, the first thing we want to do is let's go into settings so I can show you there's some new tabs down on the bottom here. Can you see that we have a security tab? So if we touch the security tab, if we want to enable encryption, we go ahead and hit OK. Again, it's purely optional. OK. We can shut off and toggle the name and on and off. Here's our password, which if I tap that, it's going to show us what the password is. Now, I'm not going to tap that because I don't want you to know my password. That's a joke. You should laugh a little bit about that. Um, anyway, so if that is set up, that is going to be the clinic's password. So that way, any email document the, the uh, clinician can still open with their own password irregardless of what the patient password is. So now, if that's enabled, when we do a new screening, we're gonna come in here and let's go ahead and come in here. I'm gonna go ahead and say John Doe, and they are five foot nine. They weigh 175 pounds. We're gonna go ahead and put their email address in. Okay, pretty quick. Um, if you want to put your phone number or their phone number in, we can now. What we do at this point is we say, John, what password would you like? We're going to go ahead and put in, we'll put in, okay, their password is going to be CBP. That's what they told me. So when they get their email, that's what's going to show up. So again, we can do their pain scale. Now also optional is the toggle for the pain scale. I've had some doctors that don't want to record pain. So we can now hide that from the report and it won't gather any uh, information on their pain scale. We can also still mask the information if we're projecting. We can do the stress survey, um, but I just want to show you um, how to get to the next step here. So I'm going to just go ahead and say no stress survey. We're going to go ahead and do an analysis. I already have somebody in here, so I'm going to look at it for one second. Let me pull up I turned off the camera because I have some assessments. I'm going to turn away from the camera here for one second so that way you can't see some of the, the other pictures until I get this loaded. Um, okay. And one of the things that I'm going to show you here in just one moment, and I'll get back to the camera in just a second. I'm just pulling up some images. I just didn't want you to see my, my patient's images, um, and I didn't want to delete those. There's going to be some new edits. So I have the patient here. If for some reason you took a picture and they were facing the wrong way, or you took a picture on a camera and we have to flip the camera image, we now have editing tools. So if we wanted to turn the person, we could turn the person. If we wanted to flip the person, because this is a common mistake people make, we can go ahead and flip the person. I don't have to do anything of that, but what I do always have to make sure is, because this is the number one mistake people make, we want to make sure the head and the feet are at the bottom and top of that yellow line. Otherwise, you won't have a calibrated image. So let's go ahead and go through this real quick, just so you can see. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and do his analysis. Oh, let me come in here. It's hard to do on an angle. So I'm going to come in here, and then I'm going to hit Next, and I come into here. The other thing that we made is we made the magnifying glass bigger. As you can see, so if I come in here to the shoulder, we can see that we've made it 15% bigger. That's new version 2.4. Now, what's great about this is that at this point, we can go ahead and show the patient their analysis, okay? 
Here's their password. If you forgot to put a password in here, we can go ahead and now, once we email them, it's going to generate the report. And in the bottom here, it says the attached document has been encrypted for your privacy, okay, for the patient's privacy. So that's their password. However, what's nice about this is that if I deleted this password, and if we don't use a password, you're going to get this prompt. And of course, you can also hide this prompt if you want to in a settings. Basically says, hey, by the way, if used in a clinical setting, you might consider using that PDF encryption. Again, it's purely optional to the person doing the assessments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And as you notice, there's no warning statement down on the bottom uh, about unlocking the PDF because I didn't do it. So I can go ahead and hit send to the person there because you notice we didn't have that. Okay, um, one of the nice things about it is even if we do have an encrypted password, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have a password in here for this person. If I go into the air print, when I go to do the air print, um, if it's encrypted, you're going to be prompted in this version to enter a password. So before you print, we would have to put that password in there to open up the document. Okay. Again, um, that is the way it's been programmed. But the nice thing about it is using the Dropbox, and there's been some fixes to Dropbox now, it will upload an unencrypted version to Dropbox because if you send out your PDF records to a third party, say an attorney or an insurance company, they gotta be able to open it, right? And Dropbox is 100% secure. So we can upload, even if it has a password or doesn't have a password, not to worry. The only time that it's gonna password protect is that if we're emailing it, okay? Now the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna show you, if we go into screening history, and I'm gonna turn us away here so I can show you. One of the other things that we've done is we've highlighted the comparison and trend analysis regardless if uh, you have a, a double exam on the patient or not. Um, and addition is we can see a lot of doctors wanna know what exam they were on. So this is exam three, exam two, exam one. That's new. If I want to do a comparison, we can go ahead and hit comparison. Now we're going to be prompted on to do uh, an assessment of between two exams. So that would be, and we can set the password if we wanted to. We don't have one set up just to show you. So we can do that comparison between any two dates. And again, if we were going to do a um, posture trend analysis, we could go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to have just three documents here. And if I'm going to go ahead and open this up, I can show you that we have the trending of three assessments. We can have up to six on that. So that's both available in the comparison module itself. Okay. The no another uh, thing that I would ask you guys to do, hold on one second here, let me fire this back up, is the like button. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit this button and go to our Facebook page. And what I want you to do is to maybe write a comment on Facebook for us. And it's just a little slow loading up. And as you can see, this is our Facebook uh, fan page. So it's a direct link. So if you have a question about our product, you can post it right here as well, too. And we'll be uh, sure to answer that probably within uh, 24 hours. So you can ask questions directly there as well. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to double click the home button here and go back here to our app. If you have questions on how to use our device, remember there's a bunch of videos in here on how to's, okay? A lot of doctors forget that we have videos for training and they contact us. So that is most of our, our help section is right there, okay? And I wanted to show you one last thing. I talked about it briefly. If you don't want the pain scales to show, Here's collect pain data. You can toggle that on or off, okay? And we've also fixed, Dropbox had a bug. They developed, uh, they gave us some new updated code. So now when you sign into Dropbox, you should not get any errors, okay? So that is exactly what's new in version 2.4. We already have version 2.41 also in the works, um, as well as we have an iPad specific version on its way. Our target date for the iPad specific version is within January. And also, yes, we do have an Android version in development as well too. So for all you Android fans out there, we have that coming. The one thing to always know is that the iPad specific version 
The iOS version is always going to be the premier version. There's some very uh, significant limitations to Android. I know you Android fanboys don't want to hear that, but the truth of the matter is there are some limitations with Android Development Kit right now, and it cannot do 100% of the features that we have included with Posture Screen in our iOS, the Apple version. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let us know. If you have suggestions, please let us know. You can email us at uh, myself at Dr. Joe at PostureCo.com, sales at PostureCo.com, or reach out to our one of our main uh, specialists at Tim at PostureCo.com. Okay, thank you, and until next time.